Hey everybody, this is Chewy Plays Nintendo, and today we have finally gotten some news for Animal Crossing New Horizons, and this includes a trailer, some new screenshots, and of course, some lovely box art for Animal Crossing New Horizons. So, this first screen that we're looking at, there is a portion of it that is, um, I guess, marked off as the box art, but I'm gonna go ahead and go through the official Japanese website for Animal Crossing New Horizons and just look at everything that they are showing here. So just to begin, this new shot has tons of new things here. So the first one that sticks out to me is just that we are seeing some new characters as well as Isabel. So here's Isabel in a really cute outfit. Let me see if I can actually zoom into that. I cannot. So. Oh well. Um, but here we have a character that I thought was Chip at first, but this just seems a lot different than Chip, so I don't think it is. And then we have what I think might be a Dodo for Dodo Airlines, which makes a lot of sense. And yeah, this new artwork is really cool. Up in the distance we have Harvey as well and some different islands. So Harvey being on a different island kind of indicates that this might be the case with a lot of different things in the game. Maybe shops are located on a different island. I don't know. I was kind of hoping that that wouldn't be the case, but it might be at this point. So here, I love this little path that goes through, but I'm still wondering if there are different types of paths that we can have. So it's kind of a bummer to see it still as a kind of dirt path, but seeing the bridge is great. So, so far we've seen Apollo is here. We've got Philbert coming out of his home, which is also a tent still. We have Tom Nook, Timmy and Tommy, of course. I don't know if that's actually the order of them. I just call them the boys these days. Um, this little mouse character, I forget the name of every time, but I love his little sailor look. Very good choice for this whole setting. And then we've got Bunny here and Fuchsia in the back, who we've already seen a little bit. And then we have these characters here in the foreground which are you know kind of using this stump which is very recognizable at least for me from seeing some of the adverts we've already gotten this stump does appear with some tools and things so we have a hammer of course the saw and everything and of course materials and a lamp and yeah just looking at this it's beautiful so far <laughs> I really love the new artwork that we have and then let's go ahead and scroll down a bit um, of course we've got the date and everything it's the no Mori, and I forget what it's called, um, at least the subtitle here, but the big new thing here is of course this new trailer, so I'm gonna go ahead and watch it all with you right now and react as it goes, and probably break it down a little bit. <laughs> okay, this is a really... it looks so good! Look at all of the characters and everything. Um, looks like he's sh doing a presentation on this. I'm wondering, this angle, like seeing it turn like that, I'm wondering if we're going to be able to move the cameras in really cool ways like that. I know they added the camera. Oh man, look at that hard hat. Alright, it's very hard to take in everything, so of course, we're going to go back here and look at kind of the more important things. Um, let's see. Okay. Oh, let's get rid of that. Okay, so here right at the beginning, like I said, this the camera angle is pretty cool the way it moves around, and I'm really wondering if we're going to be able to move the camera at all. I don't know if we will outside of, like, being able to point up, but yeah, thus far it looks pretty standard. I mean, I, I wonder what angle this is from, just with the movement and everything. Oh, gotta get rid of that again. Alright, let's keep going. Okay, so we get our little villagers here. I love... this looks like much more... I, I don't know, it feels like much more HD than what we've gotten before. We've got a new kind of mailbox design here too for the wooden mailbox and I'm trying to spot anything new. It still seems like the cedar trees are showing up on top of the cliff versus below. So, and still, we're still seeing apples too. So I'm wondering if we're gonna see other fruit in the future, but yeah, this just alone, it looks like such a huge update. Let's take a look a little bit further. <laughs> okay. So this one, this feels more like what we've seen from the game thus far. A little bit more high quality too, and I'm loving seeing the new hairstyle, all of these new boots and everything, and then yeah, just seeing 
how the house is. Oh, it looks so good. And I'm noticing in the past we've seen these paths kind of go all the way underneath the house, but it doesn't seem like this reaches all the way there quite yet. Um, these chairs are fun, the little uh, director's chairs. Um, but yeah, these settings all seem familiar so far. They still feel like what we've seen already. Of course, all of this new stuff here, the hard hat, the skin tone, I am so excited to be able to choose my skin tone because I am a person of color, so it's fun to be able to capture that for myself. Okay, so there's Isabel. And then here, of course, the box art, um, which is if we scroll up, you'll notice that it is part of that scene up here. Let's go. So yeah, it's like this portion of the scene that's in there. And luckily, like we get Isabel. It looks like it's rearranged a little bit, so it's a little tighter and can all fit. But maybe it's not. Maybe it's just the way it's zoomed out that makes me feel that way. But there it is. The box art. It's amazing. Um, so there are different videos here, but they are thus far just the previous directs that we've gotten. They've got all the dates on them. So this is the September date that where it actually got revealed. This is, of course, the E3 direct. And this is um, the September direct from this past year. Um, I guess it's 2020 at this point for a lot of people. So last year now. <laughs> um, I don't know what any of these things say, but I did want to point out these screenshots because they are ones that we've gotten before, but now we've got a lot better look at them. And they're ones that we've analyzed before. So this is one of the new bugs. I'm not sure quite which one it is. Um, it might be an existing bug. I have a video about bugs coming up. Uh, somebody sent me an email with some pretty cool information about that. So you can be on the lookout for that. Um, but yeah, overall, like this is just a much better quality than the previous image that we'd gotten. Um, right here this is looking incredible just like seeing the environments and seeing how alive everything feels like the the weeds really make these things feel at least the world feel a lot less flat and a lot cooler and i love seeing getting a much clearer look of this table this large log table here and of course stitches and goldie are adorable i love seeing their cool little outfit stitches seems to be wearing his classic little star tee and goldie is wearing this new kind of long sleeve styled um i think it's the lattice dress or so i i forget um but let's go ahead into this new screenshot lily is looking so good and yeah just like the world is looking so alive in all of this it's amazing so this is the one I really wanted to talk about first off I love this haircut <laughs> it's really exciting to see all these new hairstyles coming up but these um, little kind of haystacks are showing up here they kind of have a tumbleweed look to them but they weren't ones that we couldn't see these very clearly we made a uh, some people made a guess that these were around and here but yeah they were very unclear and hard to see so seeing all of like this hay kind of growing out of the ground I mean they are the weeds but it's really cool to see them I wonder if we can pick up the weeds and drop them back down because we actually haven't seen that funny enough um, and getting a better look at this path and the fencing and of course the most important part to me is these leaf piles I have been dreaming of having just little leaf piles around to walk through and crunch leaves while I'm playing Animal Crossing and it's fun to see I think this is Vesta and of course Kiki right here seeing them just relax and hang out but here's the big thing in this screenshot we can clearly see that the saplings the regular sapling trees are growing up on top of the cliff right here so we now know that these trees are not locked to different parts of the world um, because for a long time we only saw the cedar trees up uh, above the cliff and we only saw the saplings below the cliff but now we can see both of them are mixing there I'm still waiting to see the cedar trees show up below the cliff so that's something that I'm hoping for but let's go ahead and move into the last screenshot which is I pointed this out on Twitter a while ago, but there's one thing that happens in Animal Crossing games that doesn't seem to be happening in this one, and it's specifically when you tilt the camera upward, a lot of the stuff in the foreground, like this tree over here, uh, or even this tree trunk, maybe this tree trunk, I don't know, but definitely this tree, 
These are, when you tilt the camera up, those tend to be programmed to disappear to give you a clearer vision of the, everything. But it seems like now these images are showing that we can tilt the camera up and the stuff in the foreground stays there. And in one sense, it's, I guess, hard because you'll, you may <laughs> lose track of bugs because the stuff doesn't disappear. It may be harder to see fossils behind things, but, you know, they can easily program fossils to not, I guess, populate in certain parts. So maybe they've got a fix for that and it'll allow us to tilt the camera upward and, of course, still see these things in the foreground. So. I really like seeing this type of angle, and we can see clearly their new hairstyle, much longer hairstyle with some bangs. It's very cute, and I like seeing into the house here. The curtain is open, and that's something I pointed out in the recent 105 video, or 105 features that are unique to New Horizons, but yeah, it's very cool to see. And we get a clear look at this red roof here that is different from the blue roof on this log cabin. So it seems like we're going to have a lot of customization as well. I'm also wondering, uh, it looks like the door is the same. So we've got this kind of red wooden door and over here, yeah. It seems like it's the same door, but it does appear like we'll have those home customizations once again, at least a little bit. And I'm hoping we do, because that was always a fun feature. And these house styles, personally, I think they look cuter than the new leaf house styles that let us do that. Okay, so if we scroll down, that's about it for there. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem like they have too much else going on. There are these other pages. I guess this is a kind of an article, I guess press release type of thing. I don't have an option to translate it and usually you know you can't really trust the google translations quite yet um, but hopefully somebody translates these things pretty soon or nintendo of america and other regions will also post their translations but here's the official artwork for this game. I am so excited. I cannot believe <laughs> this is happening. Um, I literally just responded to somebody earlier today that I, uh, somebody asked, what are you doing for New Year's? And I was like, I'm going to be looking at Twitter until Nintendo posts something about Animal Crossing. And lo and behold, it has happened. I cannot believe that. So let's go ahead and go back up to this main page and get this nice look at this. And so also I do want to mention with Harvey there, like he was there mostly because of Amiibo. It looks like he has a nice little dock here for you to land, but I'm hoping they... One thing that I felt was kind of a bummer with Amiibo and New Leaf was that the Welcome Amiibo cards, the 50 RV cards, were the only ones that showed up as RV characters, whereas the other cards, the other 400 of them, did not. So I would love to see every character have their little homes displayed in a different style. So yeah, that's one thing I'd love to see. Anyways, thank you all so much for joining me for this video. I made it really quick. Hopefully it's a pretty good analysis on everything that we've seen so far. Also, I don't think we've seen these, um, are they the lilies returned quite yet? And these buds, I don't know what they are. <laughs> There's just so much with this game. I am truly, truly excited. And here we are, everybody. It's the year of Animal Crossing. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And next time, I guess we'll see if we get another video. Bye.